Hey everybody, I'm Ozzy, and today we're going to talk about what would I do if I just had a thousand dollars? I think that's a really pertinent question for anybody entering the space right now, trying to figure out how they can make the most money in the 2024-2025 bull run. Now, I'm an airdrop guy, and I think that will show in today's video. I want to preface this by saying this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. This is what I would do and what I'm doing with a large portion of my portfolio. Again, you can do this with $1,000. You can do this with $500. This is what I would do. You don't have to do what I'm doing, but I think this is the best way that you can earn the most money in this airdrop season. This strategy revolves around airdrops, but I think it honestly is the best way to play with your $1,000 and invest it for gains that I think could be astronomical in the next bull run. Now, with $1,000, I would deposit that into your Coinbase account, and I'd buy ETH. Simple as that, buy some ETH. With I would either withdraw it into one or two wallets. Uh, probably would do one, but multiple wallets are always better. So if you want to do it into two, then not the worst idea. Make sure that these two wallets aren't connected, meaning they've never sent transactions back and forth to one another. This is really important for avoiding being marked as a Sybil. Once I take out a thousand bucks and buy ETH and I've got it in my wallet, what would I do? You can bridge it with $500. I would probably bridge it onto a layer two. So either Arbitrum or Optimism. You could also do base if you're withdrawing from Coinbase. All of those are cheap, fast, and you won't get wrecked by gas fees. With that money, I would then look and to go farm three different airdrops. The first airdrop is layer zero. If you haven't seen my layer zero guide, go check that one out. I would start with layer zero because I think it's the first airdrop that is going to come in the next cycle. If we're looking, I probably think that layer zero comes sometimes late Q2, early Q3 of 2024. So you want to get on that one earlier so that when the snapshot comes, you've got more history. With that, you start sending ETH between different chains using Stargate or use stable coins and uh, send between a couple of different chains using Stargate, Jumper Exchange, WooFi, those types of platforms so that you can generate transaction volume. What I would also do is use Interport Finance to bridge onto Scroll and ZK Sync. Now, I would bridge to ZK Sync first because I think ZK Sync is the next one likely to give you an airdrop. ZK Sync is probably a mid to late Q3 airdrop, in my opinion. Everyone's got different opinions and no one's got a crystal ball. But I would bridge and start doing some transactions on ZK Sync as well. Uh, if you want a written guide on how to airdrop farm ZK Sync, go check out my free community. I've got a very extensive written guide there, as does my co-creator and uh, partner on the Discord, uh, Trials in Crypto. So go check that out. Once I've done that, I would also start send using Interport to send some funds over to Scroll. If you haven't seen my scroll video, that came out last week and is a great guide on how to farm scroll. I think that airdrop's probably the last one to come, and that's probably coming in 20, late 2024, probably in Q4. And so if you look, we've now got airdrops coming in three different phases, and I think that's super important. Having the airdrops come in different phases allows you to A, to have your wallets receive a liquidity bump, but it also lets you get in and have more liquidity for different projects over time. Having too much money right off the bat, you run the risk of missing out on opportunities because you end up investing into other tokens. By having layer zero, ZK Sync, and then scroll, you've now got 
three liquidity situations rather than just one. And why do you want three liquidity situations? Because some of the really small caps that will generate the largest gains in 2024, 2025 still haven't come out yet. And no one really knows what they are yet. And so by having three liquidity situations, you get to find the new small projects that come out at each of those liquidity during those liquidity periods whenever you receive those airdrops. So I think that's a really good strategy. When I look at how I would handle my tokens if I were to get an airdrop for layer zero, I would take I'd keep 50% in layer zero and then take the other 50%, put 25% into new tokens and 25% as a liquidity boost for my ZK Sync and scroll airdrop farming. And I would do the same for ZK Sync. And then when it got to scroll, I would take that funds and I'd hold 50% for the bull run and then take that the rest of that 50% and just find smaller tokens. Once you've gotten these airdrops, I'm going to assume you're receiving at least $1,000 in each of these airdrops. So you've now gone from $1,000, you probably lose 15 to 20% of that to different fees uh, when you're farming. So that becomes $800. And you've now got $1,000 from layer zero, you get $1,000 from ZK Sync, and you get $1,000 from Scroll. You've now 3 x your money. That's pretty nice. You've now gone from $1,000 in liquidity to $3,800 in liquidity. And it provides you now the opportunity to buy that many more tokens. With $3,800, I would probably split yourself into a max of 10 tokens. That being said, I think you want to hold some layer zero. You're going to want to hold some ZK sync. You're going to want to hold some scroll. So there's three tokens. The other seven tokens, you can pick whatever options come out. I'm one option that's available right now is Avia is on BNB chain. It's an AI token. I personally invested in it. It's done well for me. I'm up about 2x so far, uh, but I think there's a lot more room to run on it. Uh, not financial advice, do your own research. There's a whole slew of different tokens. There's Trap. Perk, I, God, there's a ridiculous number of different tokens that are out there that you could take advantage of. And go check out my portfolio video on how I'd split it up. I probably, if you've got seven tokens, I'd probably split it up between two, maybe three different narratives. I'd probably split it between gaming and AI narratives, in, in my opinion, and Mainly, I would focus on the small caps in your situation to maximize the gains. But I'm not talking about DGEN meme tokens. I'm really talking about actual projects. With those smaller projects, you could look at a 10 to 50 to 100x. So you can go from $1,000, which was our starting point. We went to 3800 with these airdrop farms. And then now talk let's say out of your 10 tokens 10 of them uh, three of them 5x four of them go to zero and then two of them 20x and one of them 100x's now if your picks perform like i said three 5x's four going to zero a couple of 20x's and one 100x you're looking at at turning your original $1,000 into $53,000. That's right, $53,000. Now, that's a 53X. And you got that because you managed to have a strong number of opportunities with airdrops, dropping your liquidity by 3.8x potentially a lot more and then spreading and diversifying amongst a small number of small caps and key narratives to capitalize on the market a 53x is unheard of in the stock market and you won't get that in bitcoin or eth this is incredible and the thousand 
dollars taking a thousand dollars to fifty three thousand dollars is absolutely nuts and absolutely worthwhile and i think it's totally possible as i said this is what i would do with a thousand dollars if i had a thousand dollars right now and i do and i'm doing this i would be doing exactly what i just said farming multiple different airdrops building up that liquidity building up that volume so that i can earn the most airdrops that i can and then taking some of my airdrop winnings and diversifying into a bunch of small caps it's never too late to start get on it right now it is definitely not an opportunity you want to miss you're now looking at quite a much bigger bag wouldn't that be incredible i think so i honestly believe that is 100 percent possible especially if you start right now i know that there's tons of rumors going around saying oh zk sync is taking a snapshot Layer Zero is taking a snapshot. The amount of times people said that about Arbitrum and Optimism before it actually happened was innumerable. They were calling it months before it actually happened. And when it actually did happen, no one was calling it. So don't wait. Take that a thousand bucks. Get farming. Because really, it opens a massive door of opportunity for you. You can really maximize your portfolio and absolutely absolutely kick butt this cycle that being said i'm aussie i'm all about airdrops crypto and killing it in this 2024 2025 crypto bull cycle and i appreciate you watching please don't forget to like and subscribe to the video it makes a huge difference and i hope to see you next time bye